So let me show you this kind of in a, in a simple scene here. Where to go? Um, so I can close this one. So here I am in the in the the beginning scene. There's my character on top of the little pedestal. I just wanted to, to be up in the air so that I was sure that I wouldn't manifest underneath the ground somewhere. Uh, uh, I've positioned this carefully so that. Uh, it, it's, it's at a particular location that is where I want it to manifest in the next game. Uh, I, I have the option of pressing any key or I can set the auto load to true, in which case it's just going to go into the next scene. Incidentally, all these scenes have to be in the build settings, otherwise it doesn't work. So here I am in a scene. Um, let me make it full screen here so that we can see it. So uh, they're, they're my portals. I put doorknobs on them so that I know the orientation. This is uh, the uh, forward side of the door. Uh, and I enter the green door and now I'm in the green scene. And behind me is the red door that goes back to the red level. If I back up, I'll go back into the green level. Uh, and uh, I have other, others, whoops. I have other scenes over, other doors over here. Here's a door that goes to the blue scene. Uh, notice I didn't have to enter the door perpendicularly and I still came out of it. The green door goes back to the green. Uh, the blue door goes into the blue. Here's a red door over here. I can go through the red door and now I'm back in the red scene. Notice I never go back to that opening scene. Uh, if you ever did go back to the opening scene because it has a character don't destroy on, you didn't have two copies of the, of the character. So you never want to go back to that scene. So, uh, and that's all set up exactly the way uh, I had it there. So let me close that one. And, uh, here now is a, a scene where I have uh, basically two rooms. I have an outdoor scene. Uh, the outdoor scene is this big world with uh, topography and terrain. And I've got this, uh, I've got this uh, uh, power plant here uh, and it has a door. And if you look inside the power plant, you notice there's nothing there. Uh, uh, Unity only renders one side of objects in general. And uh, so there's actually nothing inside this thing. It's an empty object. Uh, it's not even visible from the other side. If you were to walk inside this thing, uh, it, it would essentially disappear. And the other scene that I have is this, uh, is this, uh, is a, a, a sewer scene well, uh, some kind of power plant scene. Um, it's, it's got stuff inside it, uh, but it doesn't even have outer walls. Uh, the walls are only visible from the inside of it because again, Unity only bothers to render one side of a texture. So here's my, here's my opening scene. Uh, I've got my little character standing on a pedestal so that I could make sure he was high enough. Uh, <coughs> and uh, all I've got in here is a script somewhere here, uh, somewhere here, uh, that's gonna auto load the same script I showed you. And so away we go. Uh, and so here we are in our in our world outside. Um, these are uh, teleport to objects like from the last lecture. So this takes me way up on the hill here so that I can look at the view. Uh, I've got another one here that actually these kind of teleport from one to another to another. Now we're up on top of the factory. Uh, now we're further up on top of the factory, up on one of the rims. 
And finally, this goes back down to the ground in front of the door. So here we go into the building. So now we're inside here. Um, uh, sorry. W. This has a little internal teleport. If you jump into the into the lake, it pops you back up. Uh, and uh, this interior scene is all rendered. Uh, uh, there's nothing outside it. It's not like there's an outside here, even though we can go back outside and uh, pop around and so forth. So I'll stop the share screen here and I'll end the recording and I'll see you all in class. And uh, stay tuned for the, uh, the next little uh, snippet when, once I get it loaded. Bye.